Good morning children. Today our topic is changes around us. Have you ever visited a magic show? In fairs and in some exhibitions you might have seen a magic show. So in the magic show you see that the magician he takes some parrot or a pigeon he covers with a kerchief and he spells some magic mantra and he removes that. Then you will find the parrot or the dove is changed to something else into a plant, into a rabbit, into a mouse, sometimes into a girl. This happens. So, in a fraction of a second, he changes one thing into other thing. Right? It's a magic. Okay? So, do you think that in the reality also, can we change the things? Yes, we can change the things. And we observe the change in the things around us. You just you planted a seed in a pot. If you see that after 10 days, you will find that the small seed is grown into a big tree, a plant with so many branches and flowers. Right. So you will find a change. Morning by the time you come out to go to school, you look at the sky, you find the sun on the east. When you come back to uh, home from the school, you find the sun towards the west. There is a change. So you found it on the east and evening you found it in the west. Right. So morning by the time you go to school, your mother try to dry the clothes, washed clothes on the strings she keep to dry them. They are wet. By the time you come back from school, you find them dry. Wet clothes change it to dry clothes. Position of the sun in the east in the morning change it to west in the night. So these kind of changes, they are happening generally. But the changes do not happen at same speed. Some changes are very fast. Some changes are slow. If you wanted to see a small seed growing into a tree, there is a change, but you can't observe that in very short span of time. You need to wait for years. A seed it takes some four to five years to grow into a big tree. But here the thing that we have to identify is that there are so many changes taking place around us. And even we can, if we want, we can make some change. What change you can do? So you take one paper, just to cripple the paper, you can make a paper ball. Earlier the paper it was flat, a rectangular or a square shaped one after you crumple that made into a ball it changed its shape from the square or rectangle to the sphere so change has happened you made the change right so from this you can understand one thing that you can make change that means you can change one object to other object no magic is involved here just by applying some force you can make a change right we do this all the time. You take some papers when you have free time in your free class. Then what you will be doing is that taking some papers and making some art out of that. Right? What is that called as origami? You can take some paper and you can make a paper flight. A paper. Is used to make rocket. Generally we call this as rocket or paper plane, paper plane. So the paper plane is made by folding the paper that is an art called as origami. Now you play with the paper rocket. You change a paper, simple paper into a rocket. So that is a change. You can do one more activity. Generally you do this, you have dough, atta. That is used to make rotis. Your mother mix the flour, wheat flour with water to make the dough. And this dough is rolled into chapatis or rotis. So you have taken some dough and you rolled it into a chapati. That means you changed the shape of the dough. Earlier it was a spherical one. Now you made it into a roll. Flat disc shape. Round flat shape. You changed the shape. Right? Dough you made into roti 
And the third one, you have taken a balloon. Balloon. A small balloon you have taken and you have blown air into the balloon. Earlier, the balloon, it was very small like this. And after blowing air, the balloon, it has become like this. Big. You changed the shape of the balloon. Earlier, it was small. You made it big by blowing the air. Right. So here you change it the shape of the balloon. So three changes you have done. That means here you realize that you can change the things. Yes, we don't need magic to change the things. Of course, you cannot make a rat into a tortoise or a dove into a girl. You're not a magician, but you can change some things by applying some force. Okay, so you can change here. We have observed that you can change a paper into a rocket. You can change dough into a roti. You can change balloon into a bigger balloon. You can blow it. Right. Now, the question is, okay, we changed the paper to rocket. Can we do this back in the reverse way? Can we make the rocket again into paper? Can we make the roti into dough again? Can we make the bigger balloon to smaller balloon? That means, we changed something, can we make the change reversible? Can we reverse the change? That is the question. The answer is yes, you can reverse the change. Rocket, you can unfold the paper, just you unfold it, you will get a paper. You made a roti, just you press the roti, again you roll it into a round ball, you get the dough back. The third one, the balloon, the one into which you have blown the air, release the neck of the balloon, all the air it goes out and you will get the small one. So from the bigger balloon, you get this smaller balloon. So here also, you change the shape back. You brought the balloon to its original shape, original size again. So whatever the change you have done earlier, the change is reversed. In the case of a balloon, in the case of roti, in the case of rocket. So here we observe two things. One is we can change the shape of an object or we can make some change to an object. And second thing we realize is that the changes can be reversed. We have seen, yes, they can be reversed. Now let us take some other situation. Is it possible to reverse the changes in all the cases, in all circumstances? Let us see. We made the paper into a paper plane, not just by folding the paper, by cutting the paper. We have taken a paper. On the paper, we cut the design shape of the plane. So we have cut it, the outline. Second case, we made the roti with the dough and the roti is baked on the pan. We applied some oil or baked on the tawa. So the roti is baked. Now the roti is baked. It's no more raw. It's baked. Balloon, we have blown the balloon to bigger size and after blowing it to a bigger size, consistent size, with the help of a needle or a pin, you bursted it. Just you pick that, the balloon blasted. It burst. Right? Now this is the position of the balloon. I am giving you the same question. Can we reverse the change in these circumstances? Now your answer is no. Earlier you said yes, but now it is no. Why it is no? Because you have cut the paper. You have cut the paper into the shape of a plane. You cannot get the full paper. You may get the paper, but it is not in the original form. It was not in the form how it was earlier. It was not in the size how it was earlier. Roti, you baked it. So now it's a cooked one. You cannot make it into dough back. If you press it, if you roll it, you can't get the dough back. So that is, the change is, it cannot be reversed. The balloon, 
in case of balloon you blasted it so how do you get the balloon back it's not possible it got burst so here also the change is the change cannot be reversed so we can do some changes some changes are can be reversed some changes cannot be reversed right this is these are the facts that we have to identify we can change the things the changes what we do to the things in some cases they are reversed they can be reversed in some cases they cannot be reversed so children now we have observed that there are certain changes which are which can be reversed there are certain changes which cannot be reversed now let us see how to bring change in certain things right so here we discuss it to bring some change in items we are changing the things just for fun just for experimentation but in real life also there are some applications there are some necessity requirement for the change of an object right for a purpose we need to change some objects see what is the application of it why do we need to change the shape or size of an object for some time temporarily right i'll make this clear to you let us see some form tools you know the form tools plow spade hammer axe these are all the form tools now let us see a form tool like a axe okay this is an axe you see this is the blade of the axe but to hold the axe in position tightly you need to have a handle what kind of handle is fixed to an axe you know that yes a wooden handle a wooden handle so they will fix the wooden handle to the axe but the wooden handle that they choose is a little bigger than the hole of the axe blade axe head so the axe head is having a hole they will take a wooden handle which is having much bigger comparatively more diameter bigger than the hole of the axe head then how it will fit why they are choosing a bigger one because they wanted to make it so tight because it is used for cutting so hardly they will beat in such cases the handle should not come out from the head of the axe it should be very tight that means the handle should hold the head of the axe very tightly so that is the reason they will choose a bigger a wider wooden handle right so now here but the problem is this is fat or thicker compared to the whole of the axe head then how do they fix it how do they fix it if you just scratch and make it thin it will become loose so how to solve this problem right so that is done by heating this part they will heat this part when the axe head is heated it expands so you know that the metals expand on heating do you know the fact so the axe head it is heated so by that it expands and the hole becomes bigger then the wooden handle it fits when it expands and after keeping that they will pour some cold water then immediately it cools down so the wooden handle gets fixed in the axe head right the work is done so in this way we are making two changes just by one process what is the process heating so by this process we are doing two changes what is the two changes one expansion right we are doing that expansion after that you are doing cooling if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus